rockin' intro, man. Let's just go. I come around like what goes around. What goes up must come down. Anyone who comes up must go down. Might as well go for the gusto now. Better not let up, better not let them breathe. Let's not give it all you all right, what's up guys, JoyCon94 here today, and I'm going to show you guys how to set up Kodi on your Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV. Um, I already did a video on this, but I've had people, you know, complaining that it's not working. And it's basically the same process, it's just one thing, but I figured I'd do a new video on this. Um, so anyways, first thing you want to do is obviously have your Fire Stick set up, and like, you know, plugged in and all that stuff. You want to go down to Settings, go over to System, then you're going to go down to uh, Developer Options. There you go. And make sure ABD or D ADB debugging and apps run sources is turned on. Um, then you want to go to applications and turn that collect app uh, usage data off. You don't really need to, but I would. Um, but yeah, from there you're gonna go back to the top and you're gonna search ES Explorer. So ES. And space and it'll be right there ES Explorer and I already have this installed um, but it'll be that one there and basically you're just gonna uh, install it for me it's gonna open but basically just say download and it will install all right so it'll look sort of like this for you guys uh, I don't know why it's like kind of like off the screen, but whatever. You're going to go all the way down until you're down here. And you'll see where it says new right there. So you're going to choose that. And it's going to be a web. And you're going to do... Um... Oops. It's going to be HTTP. Sorry about that guys, I forgot my uh, phone had to reboot or respring or whatever. So anyways, uh, Cody.tv um, or HTTP colon four slash four slash Cody.tv. Hit next and then hit OK. Now this should open a website, which will be the Cody's website. And you're going to go all the way over. And it's kind of a pain in the ass, but go up to here basically and then keep pushing over or just messing with it and eventually you'll uh, go over to the actual website all right so there you go now you can see that I'm selecting about so you want to go over to the download section and you're gonna go down and you're gonna go over to um, Android and choose ARM okay. ARM. And just tap that. Now when you do that, it's gonna go over here. Alright guys, so hit ARM, ARM I mean. Then you're gonna go um, and it'll start downloading. Now you might have to hit down at the bottom where there's those three dots. You might have to hit that and say open in a browser, but for now, um, for me, it just popped up. Like I said, if you do have that issue where it doesn't show up, just go down to where it says those three dots right down there in the, the bottom corner right here and hit that. And then it'll come up and say, open in a browser and do that. And it should open this little uh, dialog box. Um, again, shout out to my uh, friend, Peter, um, Peter C408. You can check out his link in the description. I'll put it in there. Uh, I watched his video again, how to do this. Uh, he's great. He has awesome videos on Cody. That's where I learn everything from. So definitely check him out. But I'm gonna pause it while I this download is that my grandpa's coming in so this way he doesn't mess the video up. So I'll see you guys in just a second. All right guys, so once you get this, you're gonna say open file and you're gonna say install. And that will basically install it. Just uh, go down to where it says install. Don't worry about what that shit says, it doesn't really matter. And it will install. So I'm gonna pause it real quick while it does that. Um, just because my phone wants to keep rebooting on me, it's messed up, I have to probably update one of my sources on my jailbreak or something stupid like that but anyways I'm gonna pause real quick I'll see you guys in just a minute okay guys so the app um, finished downloading you can say done or open if you hit done it will actually now be on your home screen or at least it should be um, so it's pretty easy to get to now but if not I'll show you guys how to get to it 
uh, how you used to be able to get to it. But like I said, it should just be on your home screen now as an app you can just click on. So yeah, so there you go, Cody Jarvis, which is the most recent version. So basically this is what you'll get when you first start. So what you need to do is actually add uh, the Cody or the TV add-ons repository now. There's other ones, there's, um, you know, uh, I can't even think of Titanium. Uh, repo there's a bunch of other ones but i prefer tv add-ins just the easiest to set up and it works real well so you want to go down to system sorry about that guys so once you get here i'm haven't done this on a fire stick in a while you're gonna go to file manager add source and you're gonna add the following http p colon forward slash forward slash fusion Fusion dot TV. Oops. Damn it. T V Add Ons dot A G. Just say fusion, hit OK. All right, guys. So, anyways, again, go to File Manager. Um, I'm sorry. Go to Settings, Add-ons, Install from Zip. Uh, do the do Fusion. Um, when I did it the first time, I left out the S, so it's. I have the link on the screen right now, exactly what to type. Do that. Then go to here. Go to Start here, and say Hub Wizard. You'll get a little confirmation down the bottom of the street screen in a couple seconds. It says config was enabled. That's perfect. Go back. You want to go to programs, uh, program add-ons, config wiz. And we used to choose the uh, Fire TV, but that's not there anymore. So choose Android since this is an Android box or a device. Just say yes. And that's basically it. It will uh, go ahead and download and install that. Now, after you're done watching this, um, if you're on the computer, there'll be a annotation someplace on the screen saying click here to install Specto. I definitely suggest doing that. That's like another really good one. I usually, all I really use anymore is Exodus and Specto. I don't use Phoenix. Phoenix sucks. The other ones are shit. I don't really use any ones besides Phoenix, or I'm sorry, besides Exodus and Specto. So check out the annotation there and definitely check out the other one that says um, how to stop Cody buffering issues. That will help you a ton. If you don't do that, it's going to be terrible. It's going to pause. It's going to buffer. It's going to not load fast but if you do what i'm going to show you what i show you in that video and that will work on the fire stick it'll work on the tv it should work on a phone a tablet whatever it should work on any device um and that's going to be setting up a custom cache make sure you do that one at least you don't have to do the spectre one but please do the uh, custom cache one that will really help you guys a lot in uh get loading as long as you have good internet if you have really crappy internet it won't help too much but um if you have anywhere decent internet, like 10 down 10 megabytes download if you don't know how to do that just go to speedtest.net and uh, do an upload, download, speed test. And if you have anything above 10, you should be good. So anyways, I'll just say okay to that. And there you go. Wow, that actually looks a lot different. Um, I haven't done this in a while, so it looks a little bit different, like the backgrounds and all that stuff. But anyways, there you go. You got your Exodus. You got your uh, stream all the sources, Velocity, Cloud TV. Phoenix isn't there now if you need Phoenix if you really want to get it you go to videos go to add-ons and basically there you go Phoenix is right there uh, sports devil is what I would use for the live TV along with uh, pro sport which might not be there doesn't look like it is let me pause it real quick I'll show you guys how to get that all right I just wanted to pause it because my phone wants to be a pain in the ass today so go to add-ons um, go down to get more and basically this is where if there's any add-on that you don't have you can add it. So just go all the way down to Pro Sport. All right. Where 
Where the hell is Pro Sport? Huh, Pro Sport must not be there anymore, guys. But anyways, if there's an add-on that you know know of that you need to add, or need to use, this is where you would find it. And how you'd add it, you just, uh, you know, find whatever it is. Um, like, for example, let's just say uh, NHL Game Center Live. So you would hit that, you'd hit install, download it, and then when you go to that video add-on section, it will be there. That's basically it, guys. Um, if there's any other questions, actually, let me um, pause it. I'm going to fix the screen resolution again. I just want to pause it in case my phone decides to reboot on me. So give me one second, guys. All right, guys, so go back to the main screen. You're going to go to system. You're going to go to settings, um, appearance. Uh... Go to skin, go to settings. By the way, if you go here, um, where is it? The uh, add on shortcuts right here. So, like, say you wanted to um, swap out. Why is it being a pain in the ass? There it goes, okay. So say like here, you wanted to get rid of stream all the sources and um, replace it with one channel or, you know, Phoenix. That's how you would do it. You go here, you choose what you want, and then you just hit it and it will change it. So that's basically that. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I mean, I might make another video real quick on showing you guys how to like, just a couple tweaks I always do, like the uh, volume limit, things like that, but as of gen as generally that's basically really all you need to do so um yeah guys hope you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe comment below if you have any any issues um hopefully this will fix any issues that anyone had on the old video i'll have a link on the in the annotation in the description and in the annotation on the old video link into this so if you're watching the old, if you were watching the old video hi this is the new video hopefully you got to this point and it helped you so um yeah guys that's it and um yeah, I'll see you guys next time. JoyCon94 out. Wow, guys, I almost forgot. I was going to show you guys how to fix the uh, thing, like where the time's all cut off and shit. So you're going to go to System. Go all the way down to System again. You're going to go to Video Output. Go over to Video Calibration. And basically just use this. And you want it to just be so you can see it. Say OK. This will let you bring this to like the side. By default for me, that's OK. Um... That bar there will bring the subtitles. That's fine. That should be perfectly in the center. That's close enough. And that's it. So once you do that, just go back. All right, guys. All right, guys. One more thing I wanted to show you is if you go over to here, when you start playing a movie, Go to the sound, go to volume amplification, and turn that to around 17 to 22. That will make it um, just to sound a lot louder. It'll sound a lot better. And then just go down here and say set for all default media. Say yes. And that's it. So again, guys, please definitely check out the um, video, the annotation someplace on the screen. I don't know exactly where it's going to be. It's going to be one of the corners. Talking about how to set up a custom cache or fix Cody buffering issues. That's very important that you do that. I'm not going to show it in this video just because I don't want to make it too long. But definitely check that one out. It will help you guys a lot. And also definitely suggest watching how to set up a Specto, how to get that uh, add-on. Because that's a lot lot like Exodus. And if Exodus doesn't have it, Specto usually does. And um, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Um, one thing, too, that if you go to your um, home screen and go back all the way know it should be here in recents or under least apps there you go your apps Cody and you can even add it to your favorites so that's it guys um, please thumbs up subscribe comment and I'll see you guys next time joy 94 out